During my second year in the program, I started to seek the services of the Career Counseling Center at the Executive MBA um, office. And it was during the summer uh, before we entered our second year of classes, and I had realized I wanted to just start networking to people and wanted to kind of spiff up my resume and be ready to begin that networking process. Uh, at this point, I knew that I wasn't, that the end point of my MBA wasn't what I'd originally intended. Originally, I thought I was going to be the executive director of a nonprofit, but I had decided I wanted to be able to open up more career avenues for myself and explore things within the life sciences, healthcare, um, pharmaceutical, or biotechnology industry. So during that summer, I had decided I wanted to begin more networking and get myself in shape for that, and I did seek the services of the Career Center. And uh, it was actually during that summer, or more toward the end of the summer, that I decided that once I started going out there and looking at what opportunities were out there, and once I began networking and talking to people, I realized I was pretty ready to be done with the job I'd been doing for the last five years at my organization. And so I actually initiated a process of leaving my current company without having a new job lined up because one of the things I recognized was that the process of networking was going to be in itself a full-time job and that to do it right and to really explore all the avenues and to leave myself open to exploring what possibilities were out there, I needed to dedicate myself to it in the same way that I had as, um, as if I were taking it as my job. The best thing that helped me in my conversations when I was networking with people was just merely being an active student in the Executive MBA program. It, when you go and have a networking meeting with someone, the main purpose is to ask good questions and to listen. You're not there to show off how much you know or how much you're learning in the MBA program. But the mere fact that you are in that program gives you this little golden ticket because everybody loves to be helpful to somebody else. And I think current students sometimes underestimate how valuable that ticket is and that you have a very finite window of time when you can cash in on that ticket. It was a good nine month process. I had um, left my job in about uh, end of October in the second year of the executive MBA studies. And um, I began making my list and starting to meet with people. I would go to key events where I thought there were interesting topics I wanted to hear, you know, lectures, or, and also where I thought there could be good possibilities for running into the kind of people that were like-minded. And at one of the very first events I went to, it was a TEDx Women event that was being held at Seattle Center. And it was a week after I had left my last job, and I walked in, and there was someone I knew who used to be on the board of the organization I'd worked with. And I was catching up with her, and she said, you know, you need to go talk to that person over there. Her company's growing. And I went over, and there actually was another mutual friend there that introduced us. I met the founder of this company and the CEO of the company, and asked about what their company did. And as a matter of fact, it's the company where I'm working at this day. I made a connection on that day, but I did not get the job instantly. I still went through a nine month process. I networked to each of those people, had a follow up coffee with them. I networked, did all my other kind of networking generally within the space. And, you know, it just shows what a connected town this is, at least in the world of healthcare and biotechnology, that ultimately, a number of different roads actually brought me to the company where I am today. It was not through one single connection.